One of the biggest topics regarding Injustice 2 Mobile is definitely whether or not you should spend money on the game or whether or not you shouldn't. And not gonna lie, a lot of people have a lot of really good points from both sides, so it's really not like we can have a clear answer whether or not you should or shouldn't spend money. However, with that being said, I am gonna give you guys my thoughts on this question and my opinion. Okay, so first of all, my main reason why you should not spend any money on the game is because of the developers. The developers are very, very bad at keeping this game balanced, at making things fair, at giving us good updates that fix bugs. They just do not do that stuff very frequently. So even though I do agree that Injustice 2 Mobile has some of the best mechanics for a mobile fighting game, and Netherrealm does do some stuff very well, you know, the support for the game is the biggest downfall of the game. And I really do not understand what they do with the money, if they're not going to support the game, you know, I understand that Netherrealm needs to take some profit, but they do not reinvest back into the game to make the game better. So in my opinion, that's not something we should be supporting. However, if we're going to be honest with ourselves, the game has been like this for like two years. So at this point, if you are going to spend money on the game, expecting something to change, I really don't think that's the best mindset because no matter how much money we spend on the game, Netherrealm is really not going to improve this game. So if you do spend money expecting that at that point it's pretty much your fault because again the game has been like this for like two years anyways with that being said now i'm going to talk about my second reason why you should not spend any money in the game so for most players most players that do spend money on the game want to get the best characters in the game want to get the best artifacts in the game and do a lot of damage in raids that is the most important thing for like 99% of players in the game and the best way to do it the easiest way to do it is by spending money and don't get me wrong I understand that completely because you really do get a rush when you go from doing 2 million damage all the way to 20 million damage however if you really think about it there's a very simple reason why you don't need to spend any money at all in solo raids or regular raids so first of all let's look at solo raids if you want to do good in solo raids and get the best rewards well, first of all, there's no rankings at all in solo raids, so it really doesn't matter how you perform compared to other players in the world because there's absolutely no rankings at all. And second of all, if you want to get the best reward from solo raids, it's the free artifact after defeating the boss. And you can easily do that off of the normal difficulty, which is the easiest difficulty of them all. All you need is one good team, and that's literally it. You don't really have to do anything else. You could finish those battles really, really quickly. You are going to be getting more reforges and more gear material. And yes, you will get the same artifact from defeating other heroic modes, but those modes are going to get Get very difficult to really quickly and the rewards that you get are not really that much compensation you're not really going to be getting anything super differently from when you finish normal difficulty so there's really no point in spending money if you want to get insane rewards from solo raids and to be honest the exact same thing can be said for raids or leagues and the reason why is because yes there is going to be a little bit more competition because there's 30 different people in your leagues and everyone ranks differently however all that really matters in leagues is what tier you're in. If you're in tier 6, tier 7, or tier 8, I don't care if you rank rank 30, you're still going to be getting some good free rewards, and you're going to get them consistently because you get raids every 3 days. And you know what, now that we're talking about spending money in raids, let's also talk about whether or not you need to spend money in arena. I've heard a lot of people say that pay to win players are the ones that ruin arena because they're the ones that rank high. And I'm going to tell you right now, that is a lot of BS right there. Here's why. I've played the game for four years. For three out of those four years, I did not spend a single dime in the game. But even then, I was ranking Legendary very, very frequently. And the reason why is because all you really need to rank Legendary is a few good teams that could probably get you like 500,000 points per battle, depending on your arena. And that's pretty much it. That's all you got to do. If you got characters that could do armor pierce and dot damage, that would be great because a lot of opponents have a lot of defense. But aside from that, you don't really need anything else. You don't need to buy the beta club. You don't even need the all blades, if I'm being completely honest. So most definitely, no, you do not need to spend any money in arena. But anyways, with all of that being said, 
Now I'm going to turn to the other side on why if you do want to, it's okay to spend money on the game. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is spending money so you could do more damage in raids. This is one thing I really do not understand why people get mad over it. Because like I said earlier, there is no ranking at all for solo raids. So if somebody is doing far better than you, but they spent a lot of money in the game in solo raids... It's not a big deal. You're not going to suffer for it because somebody decided to spend money so they can go all the way up to tier 8 in a week or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not going to affect anybody at all. And like I said, if those people want to spend money on the game to feel that rush of doing a lot of damage, that's absolutely their choice. There's no problem with that at all. And the exact same thing can be said for regular raids. Right now, I'm not even going to lie, I got a hacker in my league that lets us finish tier 8. I don't care at all that he's ranking number one every single time. That doesn't bother me at all because like I said, as long as you're in a high tier, you're going to be getting some boss rewards. They're going to be really, really good. So I do not mind if somebody wants to spend a lot of money in the game so they could do better in regular raids and pretty much benefit the entire team. That's not a bad thing at all. And the final reason, and this is actually the main reason why it's okay to spend money on the game. You are 169% okay to spend money on anything you want, just as long as you bear the responsibility of spending that money on that thing. In this particular case, if you want to spend money on a game so you could get some gratification over it, cool. There's no problem with that at all. As far as I know, that's absolutely not illegal at all. And nobody can pretty much tell you otherwise. And you know what? I'm just going to say it right now because some of you do got to listen to this, okay? If you are against players that spend money on the game and think that you're bad at the game because other people spend money on the game, you probably just suck. It's nobody's fault at all because it really just, it barely affects you at all if anybody spends money on the game. In terms of competitiveness, there's way more things to worry about than money, like time. You got to spend a lot of time in the arena so you can get a lot of points, even if you got good teams. And getting good teams is not hard at all if you want to get them for free because you could just get them off of regular raids. In regular raids, you benefit from people, you know, being good at the game because you get to higher tiers, which gives you better rewards. In solo raids, there's no competitive aspect, so it literally does not affect you at all if somebody wants to spend money. And in Champions Arena, nobody cares about that game mode because it sucks. So there you go. And one final thing I'm going to talk about in this video, and I promise this is the last thing I'm going to say. A lot of people ask me and Sigvald, why do we spend money on the game? I think me and Sigvald both agree that the Netherrealm developers are very, very bad. So why would we spend money on the game to support them? And the answer to that is very, very simple. We have YouTube channels. We can make the money back very, very easily from the YouTube videos that we make about whatever it is that we're going to buy in the game. It's really not that hard at all or complicated for anybody to understand. It is simply a business investment. However, if it wasn't for the YouTube channel, I would not spend any money in the game because again... I do not support Netherrealm, nor do I really care that much about doing a lot of damage in raids. As a matter of fact, I have a lot more fun grinding out in arena using a bunch of different characters. But that's just me, you know? But again, I, I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't have a YouTube channel. So I just wanted you guys to know about that. And uh, with that being said, I hope you guys have a good day. Stay safe and stay clean. And I'll see you guys later.